Now step 8 asks us to um, add a form on this um, category list page and um, this form is going to go to our add category file which we haven't edited yet but we'll edit that in the next movie. For now we're just going to make the form. Now it might be useful to go and look at this database in PHP My Admin and make sure you know what's going on here. Category ID is the primary key and it's set to be an auto increment so we don't need to worry about that. The database will take care of that value. All we need to enter is the category name. That's the only thing that we need to be concerned with. Another thing that might be useful to look at is um, if we go to the add product form um, we can just see how this is done. Um, if I click on the form I can see that we're using post and um, the action is just going to the add product.php. So anyway going back to my category list I can just use Dreamweaver to insert a form and um, so I'm going to insert a text box and um, this is going to be the, the category name and because I have the words add category there I don't have to use um, category name. Actually for ID let's go ahead and call it um, category name and then the label would be name. I'm going to go ahead and attach the label and um, click OK. Dreamweaver asks me if I want to insert a form tag and I say yes. At the um, end of the form tag I want to add a button and um, this button if I click on it I can set it to add And, um, and then now, again, what I'm going to do is um, select this form and then set the action to be um, addCategory.php. So I can do that in Dreamweaver, I can do that in the Property Inspector, but if you're more comfortable, you could just go to um, Code View and, and then just um, set everything up there. It looks something like this.